So in this part, we are going to talk about how to put the matplotlib y-axis ticks on the right side of our plot. So in order to do so, first of all, I need to import the matplotlib. So I simply type import of the matplotlib. So I import the matplotlib.pyplot as plt. That's it. And now I want to create a figure. So I simply type plt.figure because I want to create a figure, so plt.figure, and I want to store the results, I mean the figure in a variable, let's say called fig, so let's run this code as well. So you can see this is our figure. And now after creating the figure, let's add uh, the axes as well. So I simply type figure, so I want to create an axis on this figure, so I simply type figure dot add subplot and I want to store this in a variable let's say called ax I mean axes so if I press enter you can see I have created the axes as well and now let's plot our charts so I simply type plt dot plot because I want to plot something and the data which I want to plot is for example one two three four very easy stuff so I press enter so you can see this is our chart but now suppose that I want to put the text of the y-axis on the right side so in order to do so I simply type ax I mean our axes and I want to address to the y-axis and then I want to put the text on the right side so if I press enter you can see now the ticks are on the right side and also let's add uh, the X label and Y label as well so I simply type PLT dot X label and for example the label of the X axis is X and the label of the Y axis so PLT dot Y label is for example Y so you can see that we have added these labels X label and Y label and also I want to change the position of this label to the right so I simply type again AX I mean our axes and we want to address uh, the Y axis and I simply type set label position and I want to set uh, the label position to the right that's it so I press enter so you can see the label position is now on the right side and also remember to put plt.show in order to show your chart and you can see this is the whole code which we have typed in Python so now if I run a code you can see here's uh, the output now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now